Lydia Dadolf, I Connect TV, and I am backstage at Frank Warren in Birmingham. <laughs> Hi, Fraser Clark. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm here with the Ansteel WBO Super Middleweight Champion, yeah. Zach Parker. I say it, Fraser. He only lives, he only lives five minutes up the road from me. So, <laughs> yeah, we've been, so. we've been in the amateur game if, uh, since I was a little kid. So, yeah, cheers. So, cheers. is that Thank why you. Fraser Clark is here tonight to see you, to support maybe, you? Maybe, maybe. Or he's looking for a promotional oh, uh, thing. Well, he's going to pro. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Well, that'd be nice in the future. Yeah. If you should, you know, maybe share in a card one day. That'd be amazing. I only live five minutes down the road from each other. We've both got, both got massive names from where we're from, and uh, yeah, that'd be good down, down the road. Listen, let's talk about that performance. As Dev was saying to you in your post-fight interview yeah. there with, with, with Queensbury, it, we don't see that happen to Marcus no. Morrison. Yeah, I, like I said, too big, too strong. It, every time I step up in, in a different class of opponent, I step my game up and... Uh, there's levels in this game. He's a really good fighter, Marcus, and it, you can see it by his past performances with like Chris Eubank and that. But I'm just a level above, and I hit too hard for these these guys, and that, you've just seen it now. You know, in the I think it was in the second round, you uh, dropped him with an incredible body shot. I mean, yeah. to see it ringside and to hear it, to, to see it land like that. After that, did you think, okay, I have him here, or what was what was going through your mind? No, um, I, when I caught him the first one, I seen him, I seen him, um, seen him start swinging with me. That's why I thought, and he get back on the jab. Don't swing with him, is it? Because he's dangerous. He's big. He's a big puncher. Uh, you see, he's got 16 knockouts out of 20, 20 something wins. So, yeah, I just got. I had to be on ball, take my time, and uh, pick my moments when they come. And uh, I feel like I did that. I think it's. It's. He was getting the count just before the stoppage, and I'm not sure if you were, but it looked from where we were sitting that you were watching Joe Gallagher. Were you yeah. looking to see his reaction? No, I seen him jump up on the ropes with his towel. Uh, Marcus obviously he's got a massive heart. He said, "No, don't chuck it in. He wants to. He wants to go out out with his uh, heart and sleeve, and uh, he wants to keep swinging till the end. And uh, obviously, it's it, when you're getting them, when you get hitting them with them big shots, you can't take too many of them. This is a hard game as it is. So it was a good stoppage at, uh, when it came." Absolutely. I must comment, you know, we've met each other a couple of times now, but yeah. it really, that was my first time seeing you fight live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you were one of those few fighters that when you look at you fighting in the ring, it's like as if you come alive, it's, it's like you're a different person. Yeah. Is that the case? Are you a different version that's, of Zach Parker? That's it. I'm uh, just a nice little lad outside the ring. <laughs> I just say uh, happy going lad, but when I, when I hear these fans cheering in, I'm, I'm in that zone. Once you get in that ring, this is what I've been doing all my life since I was four years old. All my family did it and I do it now. So. It's in my blood, and uh, yeah, that's that's where I'm at, at my happiest. And, uh, Tell us about it's in your blood. What members of your family have done it before you? Yeah, uh, my dad was a professional. Uh, he boxed Eubank back in the day, so that'd be obviously uh, I probably have to get revenge on Eubank now for his dad, for my dad. <laughs> but yeah, my e box and my both my brothers box. Uh, one was professional, for 13 and one, and uh, my other one was amateur. It was really good amateur. So yeah. Um, and I've got cousins as well with a box, so it was a load of us. The park, the park name's still out there, it's, uh, it's going strong. There's something in the water down in Derby, is that what's going on? It looks that way, yeah, yeah. Dol Dolby blood. <laughs> uh, listen, last question before I let you go. Paul, Paul Mann here. Actually, Paul, jump in a quick word. How are we feeling? Ecstatic. Like, so quite a performance, of right? Yeah, so proud of him. Always said he's going to be world champion. He's going to be number one. He's the best. Just watch, watch your space. I was saying, last question. I mean, it's the one that everyone wants to talk about. Canelo. I mean, and I'm with the perfect night, perfect card tonight before Canelo fights yeah. tonight against Caleb Plant. I mean, what are your thoughts on that now? Yeah, I think it's going to be a really good fight. I think it's harder fight than what people are making out. Uh, Caleb Plant's like a natural super midweight. You, obviously, Canelo's boxing super midweight twice four, but I feel like Billy Joe was just a little bit small and Cam Smith was just about growing out of weight. So I think it's going to be a harder fight what people think. But but this like levels again. But if he if he nicks, if he nicks too many early rounds and he's still in there when he's taking the big shots off Canelo, it's going to be an interesting fight. Absolutely. And what about yourself? I'll, I'll, I'll I mean, see. It, like, it, I'll, I'll, what me against who? Yeah, oh, Canelo, Canelo. Oh yeah, that's what I want. I want this these is, massive we're, fights. We're all, this is like, why this is the conversation has like, been all yeah, week. Yeah. Like I've said, when I, when I step up in class in, in opponents, I'll step up my game. You see it tonight. Another step up. I'm, I'm, and I wiped him out again. How many, what, how many rounds was it? Four or five? Yeah, I, I just want these big names and I, I, I'll show you what, I, what I'm made of when I get put in with these top fighters. Absolutely. Well, listen, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much, Zach Parker and Coach Paul Mann for Fight Connect TV.